Um, welcome back to my channel. This is part uh, six of rebuilding a John Deere LA-165. Put the wheel on here, the other wheel on. We'll never seize on there. Washer, spacer, number washer. All right, so new neutral rod's gotta go in. Hit your clip and your washer for your brake. All right, the neutral rod goes here. Clip on. Now for the forward reverse rod, we'll put this clip in right over there, right behind your switch. All right, I got my wheel straight, my steering wheel straight, so I'm gonna Put a uh, brand new bushing here. Make sure the wheels are straight and the steering wheel is straight. This only goes one way. Alright, nice and tight. I finished putting the uh, transmission brackets on either side. One there, one there. Here, um, I'm gonna put uh, my PTO clutch here. Check the bearings first. We'll hold it there like this and you spin it. Bearings are nice, nice and no noise, looks good. Put the brake on, release the tension off the belt. Bracket here, right there. This goes here. Well, I hooked up the battery, solenoid, wire, and a starter. And all right, put the wires on the uh, PTO. And uh, put the key on, and if I uh, sit on the seat, you should be able to hear it click. Yep, that's good. All right, she's, I'm gonna start her up, see if she runs. I'm gonna put a little gas in the, uh, the carburetor. It's a little bit. Yeah, this one's thicker. I'm gonna put the big one here, right there. I centered up the sticker 
I tape it on one side so it don't move. All we got left is the uh, is the deck to do. Today I'm going to work on the uh, mower deck. Um, it's got a few holes here which I'm going to have to patch up. And uh, I'm going to grind this with the grinder first. And it's going to probably take a half hour or more. So uh, I'm going to show you when it's done. Yeah, I finished mini grinding it. Just uh, show it underneath. I'm going to bring it over there and uh, sandblast it. But we're going to take it down to half, hopefully an hour. Alright, I finished sandblasting it. Uh, took about five bags of sand. It's not perfect, but at least it's like 90%. But I give it a coat of paint. I'm going to use this stuff here. It's made for freshly uh, sandblasted metal and rusted metal also. I'll try that. I give it a coat of paint. I'm going to let this dry. Now the deck is all uh, dried, so I'm going to give it a coat of uh, raw guard underneath and yellow paint on top. Two light coats and one heavy coat, except for the rock guard, just the rock guard, just uh, probably one coat. I gave her two coats, that's perfect, looks really good. I'll wait that for about a half hour to dry and I'll put the uh, rock guard on the other side. One good coat of uh, rock guard. All done. Let that dry overnight. Be back here in the morning. So I got the mower chute here. I'm gonna take this apart. I got a video how to do this already. And uh, just. I'm gonna go grind this down and uh, paint her up. Uh, I finished grinding down. I'm gonna put some paint on it. I painted the blades and the uh, idler arm. And uh, I got the chute drawing and the other piece that goes with the chute. All right, the end of uh, part six. Uh, probably one more part left, uh, putting the deck back together and put it on the tractor. Um, so if you like this video, click the thumbs up below. You can subscribe to my channel. Click below. Thank you for watching.